Rinse it out. Yeah. All right, yeah. You're on the air. Kalash, yes, you're on the air, sir. All right, how you guys doing? We're doing good, so You had one question. Uh, yeah, I really only have one question. Gregory, man, you're, you're out here trying to hurt my bottom line, Goy. I don't know what you think you're doing, but uh, without my export of uh, the old kosher calamari, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I need, I need the money. For, I need the shekels to feed my family, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Got nothing on that one, do you? Uh, I mean, I don't know. What, what are you trying to say? Are you a, are you a healthcare provider that performs certain decisions? I... <laughs> no, no, I'm in the export business. I need to. Uh, I need to get some of that uh, that Dick flavor pepperoni for my Jew, uh, my Jewish pizzas. Uh. I'm out, guys. I'm sorry. I just had to get in there for this. It's all good. Thank you, sir. All right. Not a serious person. <laughs> I believe he was pulling your leg there, Gregory. Yes, yeah, uh, he was. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's fine. We, we take all comers. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course you take all comers, you gayzologist. Fucking show by a bunch of homos. And all they fantasize about is sucking uncircumcised cock. And that's what they want the whole world to be. They want the extra snail skin. Fucking gobble it down to the gullet bone. <laughs> I won't make the joke. Okay, bring bring somebody else in today. Hey, you're on the air. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so this has been pissing me off for like the last ten minutes here. Okay. Speak. And collect myself. Okay. All right. Okay, so you're not circumcised, correct? That is correct. Okay, and you don't believe that there's any kind of medical reason for circumcision, correct? Um, no, I, I'm, like, I'm in line. With, no, I'm, I'm in line with the Nordic countries who are averse to using circumcision for basically anything. Okay, so the problem is, is that I'm not exactly uh, keen on criminalizing it period and here's why my nephew is not circumcised and he's got some issues where the skin is not pulling back from the head all the way so his pediatrician because this was his mother's decision it is it is a decision you can't you do have the choice in the united states as to whether or not you want to circumcise all right and because of the issues where the skin's not properly pulling back, and now he's being taught how to clean it, how to clean it properly, and all this and that stuff. Mm -hmm. And because it won't, the, the, the foreskin will not separate from the head co correctly, there's a possibility in a few years, by the time he's 12, he's going to have to go through the procedure of having a circumcision. Wait, how old is he now? He's six. I. Uh... How long have they been trying to retract him? Since he was a baby. Okay. There's your problem. They have been trying to retract a non-retractable penis. In infancy, the penis, the, the foreskin of the penis is fused to the glands. There's actually two separate elements here. It's, it's fused to the glands with a membrane uh, called the synechia, which is akin to, it's histologically similar to the membrane that binds your fingernails to the nail bed. This dissolves somewhere in toddlerhood, but the prepucial orifice, the opening of the foreskin, can still remain tight. Um, trying to force this back all the time since infancy causes all kinds of problems. Uh, it causes scarring and all kinds of problems, and it can cause phimosis. And, of course, doctors will then use that to sell circumcision. Um, They're waiting a few years and hoping that it actually corrects itself. Because my sister does not want to go through this type of thing because she made the decision not to get a circumcision. And they, they've been, they've been, the doctor told the parents when he was a baby to try to, to keep retracting him. No, actually, she was just making sure that uh, the pediatrician was making sure that my sister knew she had to clean. Uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, no, you don't. You should not be trying to forcibly retract a clean. Do you, do you douche your daughter? Would you, <laughs> would any, no, I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, okay. you, don't you don't, you don't force, you don't force, you don't force me, soap me, into, the, you, into the, into the mucous membrane of your daughter's how, vagina. Let, 
Let me tell you how the the genitalia of a woman works. Of course, they're going to have to talk over this girl and shut her down because she starts to own these fuckwads. This is just, you know, this is how, hey, they, this is, you know what? They talk like flat earthers. They talk over you, they make no sense, you know, blah, blah, blah. This broad, this chick, this lady ends up owning these motherfuckers. And they suck. They do. They just suck. I love the title, We Will Protest at High Schools and Middle Schools If You Don't Pray in Circumcision. So, you know what? I would love to see one of these motherfuckers get within fucking 100, 300 yards of a school. They'd all be arrested. Arrested. And if they're not arrested, then you know it's a staged event. Absolutely. You ain't getting there. No fucking school. In protesting. Fucking dickheads. I think they could, they just suck. Woman doesn't piss out of her <laughs> vagina. This is out of the urethra, which is actually about an inch or so of the vagina opening. Okay, I, I, okay. I don't need an anatomy lesson, but yeah. Well, obviously you do because you don't understand how this works. The penis has the urethra. Okay, do you do you, do you uh, use uh, aggressive uh, soap on the mucous membranes of your daughter's vulva? You don't use aggressive soap on babies, you dumbass. Okay, well, then, well, then don't don't be trying to. The, the, the first person to retract the foreskin should be the boy himself. Just leave him to his own devices. If they've been forcibly retracting him since infancy, it may well be that he has a bunch of problems now. But at the same time, there are less. There are. According to, in accordance with medical ethics, according to the principles of non-harm and proportionality of treatment, there are less less invasive treatments for this, and they include steroid creams, they include, uh, manual uh, stretching of the tissue. Steroid creams. This guy's a fucking douchebag. Now he must be working for the pharmaceutical companies. What a fucking nigga. Really, hey, things people have been doing for thousands of years for their babies. Like you're not supposed to do that. Ugh, I fucking despise these rat motherfuckers. Tissue expansion, and at absolute worst, there's something called prepucioplasty, where a, an axial slit is made in the top surface of the foreskin, and it's sewed together uh, circumferentially. And this is essentially, depending on how big the cut is, it's a guaranteed fix. But at the same time, uh, studies in Holland, the average age of retraction of the foreskin is, is 10, 10 years old. Sure. This is not a. This is not even a. Phimosis is undiagnosable in children. Yeah. All right. Let me. Okay. This is a super chat. So I'm going to trust the pediatrician that's got 30 years of experience. Oh, you're, you're going to trust. You're, uh -oh. Hold on. You're going to trust the American uh -oh. doctors who tried to re-legalize female circumcision in 2010. That's Actually, who you're no, going to trust. Didn't. Uh -oh. Oh, That's yes, the they did. Doctors that were doing it. No, 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 honey. In, in 2010, in 2010, Douglas Deacama, writing on behalf of the American Academy of Pediatrics, was advocating the legalization of type uh, type 1A FGM. You know they're doing it in Michigan right now. Yes, the Dawoodi Bora sect. Uh, by the way, that was being done by doctors. Two doctors at a Detroit emergency room. Yeah. To Muslim yeah, women. Nice. Yeah, nice and yeah, yeah, under clinical and conditions you know what, with you know with with with, uh, with pain with pain control and uh, and, and and antiseptic practices. It was it's, just it was clean. It was hygienic. Still... See now he's pushing the doctors. When before for her he was like, "You trust a doctor in America who's pushing this? Just a hypocrite scumbag. What a rat, 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 fuck." Still, it's still horrible because you know what the clit is for. Do you know what the foreskin is for? The clit is for sexual stimulation, too. You the foreskin is for get, sexual stimulation. You can still get sexual stimulation without the foreskin. You can get though, sexual stimulation thing. without the no, clitoris. You can't. Yes, you can't. <laughs> Women do not need a clitoris to orgasm. I never heard that in my whole life. You don't need a clit to get off. <laughs> That's a fucking homo answer right there. <laughs> get rid of all them clits. Dirty little clits, anyways. Let's just get that foreskin, please. <laughs> there are studies that have been done in Africa. I, I, no. The entire point there, there, there have been studies that have done. You do not. 
is so that the woman is a mattress. The entire, yeah, yes, the entire point of removing the foreskin is to destroy male sexual pleasure as well. That's how it started in this country. That's not actually how it started. Uh, that that uh, actually is true. That actually is true. John Harvey Kellogg in the late 1800s was promoting it as part of a moral hygiene campaign. Not physical hygiene, moral hygiene. They had an obsession with, with, with morals and disease, and they thought that that That's was That's because that guy was fucking nuts. But yeah, well, and William, William Sarah, the founder of the American started. Medical Association, was right there with him. Those are the people that started it. It started as a deliberate effort to harm male sexuality. Everything else is a post hoc rationalization. Everything else. Look, I, look I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, don't, I don't mean to blow up on you. I, I mean, I, I feel for your, your nephew here. I, I, I want the best for him. And, and the best for him is so for the doctors and the parents to stop meddling with his penis now, let me ask you and just this, leave Gregor, him alone. Gregory, would you outlaw circumcision in all cases or still leave it for, for medically necessary um, cases? No. Like yes, of, of course. There, 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 there may be be medical cases that require the problem is especially in a place like america if you leave it and just say oh you have carte blanche to to claim a medical need for it in a place like america it means the doctors are still going to be enthusiastically doing it if we're going to leave it like that then we need it to be so rare and so stringent stringently regulated that it has to go up before a national board before congress to get approved uh, before before it actually happens. All right, all right uh, Sister Puppet, you got anything else? I don't think the government should be regulating a boy's penis any more than I think the uh, a freaking the government should be uh, regulating what? a woman's vagina. So oh, okay, legalize female circumcision then. Well, that's still fucking regulating a woman's vagina, dumbass. You, you just said you didn't like it. You're fucking stupid. You don't- so legalize female circumcision. So I, I, stop strawmanning. What conclusion? From one, stop straw What manning. conclusion am I to draw? Stop strawmanning. Stop what, what's fucking strawmanning here. You what's know what's the straw man, ma'am? Because you've been doing no, it. No, what is it? You tell me. You fucking moron! You've been twisting everybody's fucking words around to uh, to to stonewall any fucking argument. I throw and out the truth, up with and the if you're stumbling over it, that's your own problem. Possible. I'm not stumbling over anything. You've been talking Look. fucking retard for fucking 30 goddamn minutes, and I'm fucking sick of it. Well, I've got you steamed up, haven't I? Look, I, I want the best. I'm steamed up because I'm I talking want, to a I want, fucking moron. I want, I want the best. I want the best for your nephew. I want more than the best for my fucking nephew, and the best for my nephew is for your ass to fucking an hero. Uh, well, what what does that? What do you mean? Do you believe that the best for your nephew is to run out and get circumcised, or do you think his whole body should be? Do you think the health of his his whole body should be preserved? Can can you can you take a moment to listen back to yourself? Because that's an example of straw manning. Now shut All right. the fuck up. <laughs> All right, please pass this information on to your sister and your nephew. Uh, I wish I wish the best for them. Circumcision is is not required. Uh, phimosis is not even diagnosable yet in his case. All right, appreciate uh, this. Thank you, thank you, Twisted Puppet, for joining us. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh-huh. Thanks. Wow. Okay, that was good. Holy shit! Uh, that me, was let amazing. Me, let me read a couple of super chat. Chatelet Jones said. Stop laughing, lady. I'm a rape, razor rape survivor. Opinion hurt. Opinions hurt. Says, holy fuck, this girl is dumb. The foreskin doesn't separate until pre-puberty. Am I the only one with a child here? Um, Ross Oriel said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ross Oriel said. Pediatrician's name: Shlomo Mordecai Shekelberg. Uh, here we go. Ghost of Mister Problematic said the 12 year old doesn't know about the G spot. Uh, Isaac Frost said, come home from work, click on stream, thinking the title was a joke. Internet Blood Sports 2.0? Question mark. Yeah, we're taking it to the next level here tonight. JFMD says, pediatrics resident here. Greg is saying a couple crazy things that I can't get behind, but I also disagree with routine circumcision. By the way, if you'd like to get on, it would be pretty cool if we could get um, like a med- you know, a doctor or a doctor in training on. That would be, be awesome. That would be pretty cool. So, um, yes, we we yes. would move you to... Jeez, I thought that prick was a doctor the way he was telling her. That can't happen. That doesn't happen. That's undiagnosed. He ain't even a doctor. He's talking like he knows what the fuck he's saying. Just more gay guys. 
fantasizing about more uncircumcised cock that they want to suck because that's what they love to do. They are addicted to sucking the cock and that ain't never going to change. They are the rottenest, cr crummiest fucks, man. This whole fucking rat channel is the scum of the fucking world. Ratty rat fucking rat. And that's just the way it goes, big rat boy. Fucking believable.